vontade. It was basically him wanting me to do stuff to him. And Five years ago, Katie Nolan was a 14-year-old girl text messaging her friends like millions of teenagers do every day. But she was also text messaging a new acquaintance, someone she had met in an internet chat room. We exchanged numbers and he's like, do you text? And I was like, yeah. Katie's new friend eventually convinced her to go out on a date where she says she was pressured into having sex with him in the back seat of his car. I had no choice. To me, it was life or death. The next day, Katie's mother was online checking her daughter's cell phone minutes when she learned that her cell phone company, Nextel, also allowed her to check her daughter's recent text messages. And that's when I started reading this and my heart just dropped. It was clear, she says, that her daughter was the likely victim of a sex crime. thought I was living the American dream. And then I get this and your heart just drops. She called the Naperville Police Department and hours later, Katie was questioned by Detective Rich Wistaki, who also viewed the text messages. You were great last night. I want to do this again with you. Did you like my penis? And, and all this type of stuff. And the mom was reading this like, oh my God. The police investigation led to the arrest of 23-year-old Juan Martinez, Jr. If the mother didn't go on that, on that uh, Sprint website, we would never have had an arrest. We would never have had a guilty. Martinez was found not guilty of rape charges, but he was convicted of indecent solicitation of a child. Police say if he committed the same crime today, he might very well get away with it because cell phone companies no longer allow parents to check their children's text messages. None of the cell phone companies are allowing parents to go in and look at text messaging. And this is what sex offenders and predators know. That's right. If Wendy Nolan tried to check her daughter's text messages now, like she did five years ago, she'd find there's no way to do it. And sex offenders know that too. And they know once they get that child away from the computer and then go to text messaging, they know there's no way that the parents are going to be able to monitor that. Sex offenders also know their messages usually won't be retrieved from the victim's cell phone. Because they know the kids are going to delete it as soon as they send it. And once you delete it, it's gone. The children are younger and, at younger and younger age have these cell phones. Last week, Illinois Congresswoman Judy Biggert sent this letter urging the Sprint Company to consider allowing parental oversight of text messaging. But wireless providers like Sprint say storing so many messages poses problems. More than two and a half billion text messages are sent every day. And federal laws may protect the teenager's privacy. The congresswoman says if the teenagers aren't paying the phone bills, their privacy is not an issue. The federal law uh, protects the account owner of a cell phone. So what, and when there's no violation of that if a parent monitors uh, cell phone text messages of their child. And Wendy Nolan has this question for cell phone companies who may be reluctant to help parents like her. What if this was their daughter? Larry Yellen, Fox Chicago News.